Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to read you this story called The Grumpy Monkey. One wonderful day, Jim Panzi woke to discover that nothing was quite right. The sun was too bright, and the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim, said Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy, me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Well, your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman, they're all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrows. <laughs> then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman, the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then what is that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. He has a good smile, doesn't he? Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. <laughs> Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath. You should make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat his chest. And he stormed off. Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. Well, I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy, asked Jim. <laughs> no, said Norman, I danced with the porcupine. <laughs> Can you see that the porcupine needles are stuck in, in Norman? Oh my goodness. Are you okay, asked Jim. 
It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I just need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. The end. Who do you think the moral of that story is? I think even though sometimes we want so badly to make our friends feel happy, sometimes we just need to let them feel the way they feel. If you feel sad, it's okay. It'll go away. But it's better to feel how you feel than pretend you don't. As you could see, Jim couldn't pretend that he wasn't grumpy. He just needed a day to be a little grumpy. And that's okay. So long as you're still kind to others, right? Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that story. I really liked it. I'll be back to read to you soon. In the meantime, have a wonderful day, everyone.